good morning guys welcome to our channel so today in this video i am going to share you the interview questions that have been asked in capgemini interview so these questions are contributed by one of our subscriber friend akanksha so coming to the interview experience so though it was her four years experience and she was selected for that and i'll be showing you the entire mail like what is the package she got or what is she is asking and what hr is giving so let us directly jump into the questions now the first question was how to override hash code and equals method so why to override sorry why to override hash code and equals method so we have to explain the contract between the hash code and equals method here and what will happen if we don't override the hash uh, hash code and equals method especially when we are dealing with hash maps maps okay. next question is what are generics so explain um, this would be a theoretical definition what are generics then there was a question from java 8 what is the difference between map and flat map so we have to explain the difference between map and flat map these two features got introduced in java 8 so basically map is for enhancements of the stream and flat map is to flatten the list of list so in that scenario we can use next question was related to java 8 coding so if we are using java 8 then how can we get the unique elements from the list without using any inbuilt functions such as hash set so as we have started uh, java 8 coding question series how will be covering this as part of that uh, we can use uh, what i can say distinct there is a method called distinct we can with the help of that method uh, we can get the distinct things out of the array out of the stream basically so next question is if we are uh, if we have a list of type object containing int string as well as other data types then how to check if it is of which data type so we can have a uh, auto boxing comes into picture and we can make use of instance of method and we can tell what is the instance type if at all i'm understanding the question correctly and even she answered uh, like in the note section so we're using that thing we can do next question is like this is project specific question we can say which version of java you have used in your project so if we see there are a lot of questions uh, of java 1.8 and obviously java 1.8 she must be using so this is a very common question i can say nothing much to explain about it and if you are uh, see on the right side corner use the amazon link in the description on your next order from amazon if you want to contribute us anything so that is there in the description next question was again from java 8 what is cons fun consumer functional interface like there must be based on your answer you give there there will be more uh, more questions asked on this so this is a functional interface so accept was a i believe accept is a method only that is present inside it next question so these were the questions related to java and next are from spring and hibernate spring spring boot and hibernate so what is qualifier annotation in spring so you have to explain like it what time uh uh what i guess a qualifier comes into picture so what is uh, the advantage that we get out of qualifier annotation next is what is dependency injection so in a simple words dependency as the name goes injecting the dependencies at the right position is known as dependency injection and as this will be done by container so that is the where the ioc why that is why it is called inversion of control so the control is taken by now container instead of v creating the objects and inserting it the respective position now the container does it for us next is what is dev tools in spring boot so this came into picture in from java uh, spring boot 1.5 so if at all we are having this dependency so actually spring so if at all we are having this uh, dev tools dependency and if we are at all we are we have started the application and if we are uh, making any changes so instead of we stopping and uh, restarting the application so that our changes get reflected uh, if we are having this dependency it will do it for us automatically so that is the advantage uh, especially when we are in the development phase this is very handy like what due to dependency so next question is if you don't want to use any of the embedded servers like tomcat jetty or undertow how can we configure that 
use external servers so there are different approaches to be honest here uh, like it's completely depends on us we used to uh, like even though uh, i was working on one of the spring boot project we used to create a war and we used to deploy in jboss servers that is the one approach uh, you can have your own approaches what your project follows so uh, we can uh, directly to explode uh, we can directly uh, exploit it from the dependencies in the palm palm itself that can that is one of the options i can say then the next question is one of the questions was from hibernate that if you are using one to one mapping or one to many mapping and if you want that if we remove some data from parent table it should also get removed from the child table also then what should we use so there is a property called cascade all if we use that uh, we can what i can say we can achieve this functionality so these were the questions that were shared to us by her and this is the screenshot of the mail so hi team hope you are doing well i have been following your youtube channel for many my interview preparations and literally it helped me a lot i also want to contribute to the channel through my capgemini interview experience for which i was selected it was for java developer role along with microservices and spring boot i hope th that this would help others other people as well so willing to switch who are or who are preparing for the interviews please find the below questions being asked for me in the interview why to so the questions i have already said so let me go through it once more time why to override hash code and equals method what are generics what is the difference between map and flat map if we are using java 8 then how can we get the unique elements from the list if we are using list of type uh, object containing int and all those things and uh, if you see the answer is also given answer is we will use instance of operator what is the version of java that you have used in your project java 8 what is the consumer functional interface in java what is qualifier annotation in spring what is spring dependency injection what are dev tools spring boot if we don't want to use embedded servers how can we handle that scenario and the scenario where parent child relationship is maintained in hibernate and if the parent is getting deleted the child should also get deleted so these were the questions I have been continuously giving interviews and we will be sharing more and more questions with you and just one more thing that you guys are doing a great job thank you thank you Akanksha. and when we asked about the salary so this was our answer so she is asking 10 lakhs per annum and they are giving around 9.5 still it is not confirmed the discussion is still going on so we are not uh, sure of the complete answer so this was about the interview questions or interview experience that was shared to by to us with by akanksha so thank you akanksha for your time so if you haven't subscribed us please do subscribe like the like if you have liked the content share this to other technical platforms so that it might help someone or provide the feedback in the description no, sorry in the comment section so one can definitely question like uh, there are we are seeing lot of comments saying this uh, whenever we are saying that for so and so experience these questions were asked so people come in the comment section and start fighting with us saying for a fresher we ask these questions for a two years experience candidates we ask these questions so it's up to interviewer there is no fixed thing that is defined in the what in the market that for a two years experience guys these questions should be asked for a 10 years experience guys these questions should be asked what questions we ask for two years guys can be asked for 10 years guys as well what questions we ask for 10 years experience guy can be asked for two years experience guys as well it completely depends on the interviewer's mindset most of the interviews directly when the interview starts these days i'm talking about the pandemic time openly opening the browsers and directly typing we can hear that i, I am personally attending the interviews and i can sense i can find it out that they are typing the questions in the browser and they are directly asking from the sites so there is no guarantee that you know, no matter what is the experience so they are directly referring the sites and they are questioning us so that happens so if you are on our channel for the first time and if you have total like who are we and what we do so we are basically a bunch of software engineers who attend interviews and share our real time interview experiences through these videos so if you see the company names that are getting printed on your screen so these are the companies that we have already shared the interview questions or interview experiences like what salary you can ask there and you can visit our channel we have shared more than 100 plus videos by now and it would definitely help you in your interview preparation
and thank you for your time thanks for watching the video that's it for now